Michael, thanks for having us here today. Tell us about this automated milking machine. It must be, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a good job. Um, I suppose the difference is it, the cows go to it and get milked instead of us hurting the cows twice a day to be manually milked. Um, it's working 24 hours a day, so cows basically go themselves and they're doing their own thing. It's a fully automated uh, milking parlour, and it's the first one in Leitrim, and the only one in Leitrim at the minute. And there's a lot of them around the country, though. It's not, they're not new to Ireland, like. No, no, not new to Ireland. Uh, Phil and Galway has one a good few years now, but this is the first one in Leitrim, all right. I think there's one now in every county. And um, no, there's a good few around Ireland, so there is, and it's getting, it's getting more common. It's moving yeah. the way forward. Uh, obviously, there, there's been a lot of stuff in the news lately with the end of the milk quotas. Um, how has that affected you? Or uh, you must, were you delighted first of all, obviously, to see the end of the milk quotas? Ah, uh, yeah, everyone is because you're always watching. You know, are you going to go over quota or not? But it's like you know, it's, we we're in a position now to produce milk now, and that's that's why we bought this machine mm. because. We want to up our milkers to three times a day milking because the cows, it's in them, the cows to milk more. So that's why we went this way. So yeah, happy enough the quota's gone. Um, tell me so about how, how the whole machine works. So you, you have the cows here and they're being fed away on their grass, which is sound. Um, what happens? So they just dodge in themselves? Yeah, yeah. All we do is uh, put feed in front of them and bed the cubicles where they lie on. And that's really all. They'll, they'll eat, they'll lie down, they'll go and get milk and they're just continually doing that cycle all day and it's on 24 7 yeah day and night and it's like has it reduced your time now the automated machine has it have you more time for training now and stuff like that oh yeah and i'll get you that i'll get to that in a second <laughs> um I, you look at you you've just that milking time you have that time to do something else it's not as if you're going and people say oh you must have nothing to do now you're in the house yeah you just have them t like it was taking us two and a half hours in the morning two and a half in the evening it's five hours a day so basically we have that t time to spend to do other jobs or if you had something on, like go train, and you can go train. You can have all your work done. Mm. Uh, I'd be away working, so Daddy can do the jobs now. He's more, more uh, easily on his own. So now that the milk and quarters are gone, are you going to extend the herd? Uh, not yet. We'll, we'll uh, next five years. Yeah, we're planning, but we'll just uh, stay with what we have and see how it does go. Because a lot of boys getting into milk and stuff. You know, you never know how it could go. Will you have more people getting into milk now? Do you think? Oh the, yeah, yeah. Well, just say reading the. Uh, a few magazines around the farm and yeah boys are getting into it and we just we're all happy enough where we are at the minute now we'll we'll uh, plan for the next five years uh, i mentioned the train in there yeah. uh, you're playing goals for leitrim county leitrim how's yeah. that going for you oh, it's going very well now um new manager new Nolan manager yeah, Shane Ward, yeah. Uh, yeah young man very mad about leitrim football that's a great thing and uh, wants leitrim football to go one way and that's up and no it's good to be a part of that so yeah, yeah it's going very well happy enough now happy enough with it. So, Cal, this is the brain of the operations. Is it behind here? Yeah. This it's is a tight it squeeze there, isn't it? <laughs> Keep you in shape as well, Keep you in shape. This yeah, is well, you're a county footballer. So, yeah. uh, tell us what's on this now. This is basically like, the, this is the cow's number. So she's 64. That's her weight. She's only a heifer. That's why she's a little bit lighter than the rest of the cow. She's going to get 0.86 of a kilo of nuts. She's only 10 days calf, so she's, she's not getting much nuts yet. So far, she's given 2.8 litres of milk. This will tell us much milk. And these are the individual quarters. It's all milked individually, as you see, when these start to drop off. So it tells you how long it takes to milk each quarter. And will it know if there's anything wrong with a quarter, like mastitis or anything like that, or yeah. anything wrong with the milk? Yeah, it's testing every quarter, every time she's milking. It's always testing the milk, so it'll alert us if there's a problem with a cow. And where's all this then stored? The information is yeah. stored up on the main computer upstairs. Even office upstairs. Up in office upstairs, and they go up there and check it in the morning and check it in the evening and just look for any little bits. And we, we, we can see the milk going in here as it happens. Can, is that yeah. all right? Yeah, yeah. of course. That's, can, that's yeah. where it's going in. That's where it's been, yeah. Wow. As you can see, there's four different heights. Yeah. So it's testing the, you know, it's all individual the way it's coming in there. And right. That's the way it works there now, and then it'll be pumped off out to the milk tank. So we've come up to the office upstairs, Cahal, and uh, the information is on the screen downstairs, and it's been fed to the central computer here. Yeah, this is the main part of it. This is where we come in the mornings and evenings. So, you know, you look through these dials. This is what we're producing now, 19, 119 litres of milk. Everything in brackets is the last seven days. So the yield has improved there, so? The yield is up, yeah, and again, individual cow, it's 33 a cow. So, yeah. that, so it's up again. They've been milked 2.9 times a day on average. Right. The refusal is, as you've seen, a cow that comes in and is not due to be milked. Yes. So that's quite good at 3.0. They want to be milked, you know. Yeah. 
then you have a failure. That means if we can't connect, okay. it lets her out, but she'll come back again. Separated milk is maybe a cow that had mastitis or something. Um, there was three cows with separated milk because we have cows calving. They're, they're eating 377 kilos of nuts a day. Wow. But that's the average back down to about seven a cow. So you kilos. must have a tight feed bill, have you? It is all right, but it's only, <laughs> it's only around seven kilos a cow. Oh, right. On average, okay. so it's not, it's nothing uh, extreme around. So it, there's loads of information. Loads of information. From yeah, there, yeah, and then yeah. obviously with the view that you have here, you, you can oversee the whole operation from yeah, here, it's, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, when you're in here at night now, or it's a nice view to have overlooking the cows, especially when they're all in there, when we put in the grass now, they'll all go eating, and it's yeah. like, just a line of cows eating, it's a nice view. It's amazing. Now. Well look, thanks very much for having us here today. 100%. Continued success with it, and uh, sure, if anybody wants to call up and see the milk and parlour, I'm sure you won't t turn them away, will you? No, no, there's 20 more entry fees to work. 20 more entry fees. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, 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 and by yes. the way, best luck with uh, the county trade and then the, yes. the upcoming championship, obviously, yes. as well. Thanks, William. Hopefully, we'll Cheers. 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 Michael, you're Cahill's dad, and you started milking a long time ago. This must be a massive advance, is it? It is, yeah. The technology has improved leaps and bounds since I started. Yeah. <coughs> we were in a pipeline first out there and that buyer out there and then we moved on to a six unit herringbone about 10 years after that and I milked there for 15 years probably and now we're at a, this year. So was it a big decision for you to get into something like this? It was a bigger decision for me that, than for Cahill. Yeah. He was very keen on the idea of being young I suppose and the technology came yeah. second nature to him. I wasn't as quick to pick up on it but uh, well, Cockle is the future, like, and we went ahead with it. Are you happy with the results? Happy now. Yeah. Not for the first, maybe. Because it's a big <laughs> financial investment, yeah, if nothing else. Surely. You know what I mean? Wasn't that happy now for the first few weeks while yeah. the cows were being trained and the like of that? But uh, now everything is 100%. And you talk Perfect. about the cows being trained and you can see them coming in and coming out there. Yeah. I suppose, why do cows do that? Is it just well, routine? Cattle, all cattle in general, especially dairy cows, are creatures of habit and they will, once they get used to something, they come to it like, and it's the dairy nuts here that entices them in and yeah. once they go on the habit, for the first two weeks we kept putting them around our shells, kept going day, day and night, once they got used to it, they just go out themselves, come in there and go through it and no bother. What's dairy farming like in Leitrim? It's alright, no bother with dairy farming or beef farming in Leitrim, it's the weather is the killing part of it and the ground being wet and heavy. It's not great there. land? The land... There's parts of it very good and other parts are very poor. Yeah. Which means on the bad year now, 2012 there, it was an absolute disaster. And that's when we put the cows in full time. Up to that, we were in at night full time for probably three years before that. And then we made the decision in 2012 in full time. And we bought a zero grazer. And ever since that then, they're in and will be in. So we've a cow just gone in there. Uh, Michael, tell us what's happening now. Uh, the teats are just after being washed there. Yeah. And the cups are being fitted at the minute there now. You can see the little red laser. That's what picks up the teats. And she's also getting nuts. The nuts come down in a dribble. They don't come down in one big hall, like. Right. They just come dribbling down during her time being meat. I and mean, she, they will just be finished coming down just seconds before she's finished making. Amazing. So that keeps her there, and she keeps showing away. So when she's being milked, she's getting a little trickle all the time. She's getting a trickle all the time. Yeah. So when you were milking twice a day, you know, seven o'clock in the morning and seven o'clock in the evening or whatever, like th this must be just you'd hardly know yourself, do you? <laughs> I don't know. Like really I know you're busy enough anyway, I know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it is. It's massive now. There's no doubt about it. It's the future. Yeah. Like we have absolutely everything. We have how many kgs and nuts every cow has got, how many ton we're using a month, what it's cost, and we know the whole lot here upstairs. They are just press the button. And we'll have has it saved one. you money? It has saved us money on dairy nuts, definitely. There's absolutely no nuts being wasted whatsoever. Very good. I have saved on time as well. And obviously, at the end of the milk quote, as I talked to Cahill about this as well, this is going to be a huge benefit to you now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we haven't worried now about going over quota. We were over for the full month of March and part of the month of February. But uh, from now on, we haven't worried. We can be push on. Yeah, okay. Maximum over the ground. Well, listen, Michael, thanks uh, very much for talking to me today and continued success with the Lily machine. It's a great job. Thank Cheers. you. Thanks, man.
And that's it for part one of this week's Leitrim County Matters from the McCran Farm here just outside Mohol in County Leitrim. And thanks very much to Cahal and to Michael for showing us around. It's an amazing piece of technology, I think, and continued success to them as well. Coming up after the break, we travel about three miles in the road to the village or the town of Mohol in County Leitrim. And this weekend, they're holding the Matthew Sadler Memorial Weekend. It's in memory of Matthew Sadler, who perished on the Titanic in 1912. And we went along to find out more.